Hi, this is Daryl Brugick, Executive Editor of No-Till Farmer, and uh, once again, thank you for joining us from the 19th Annual National No-Tillage Conference in Cincinnati. And uh, taking a moment here to visit with Albert Bancroft, he's the Marketing Communications Manager for Agricultural Liquid Fertilizers. And Albert, I think this could be the fifth year that uh, agriculture has been uh, here at the conference, so thanks, thanks for being here again, being a part of it. And I uh, want to ask you a couple, a couple things. Um, uh, you know, first of all, how, how is it your company right now is trying to stay out of the game? I mean, things are always changing, evolving in the industry. And you know, what are some things that you're doing to try to stay ahead of the game in agriculture? Well, our company is constantly working on its research with uh, crop uh, nutrition placement. We have a uh, state-of-the-art research farm that we're constantly expanding, adding staff to, trying new practices, trying new crops, working with new tillage uh, ideas and concepts that are coming along. And then on the production and distribution side of things, we're, we're constantly uh, adding to our, our staff there to, to be able to get the products to the customers timely and efficiently. Um, we're building a new plant in uh, Ashley, Michigan to replace a unproductive plant. Um, it'll be able to provide a better service to our customers and a more economical way to produce products. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm sure that's something you got to stay on top of all the time is because agriculture really seems to be thriving well and there's good demand, I'm sure, out there for what you guys are doing. So, what, what do you see as some like key objectives you know, for your company here as you move forward in the future in the next few years and even beyond that? We see a need to educate uh, farmers and uh, consumers. Uh, there's a lot of misconceptions about farming in, the, in both the farming world and in the consumer world. Uh, with the help of many, we've started a foundation called Responsible Nutrient Management. You guys are in it as well. And we want to use that as a tool to educate the farmers and the, the end users in the best way with as many plows and, and businesses that, that we can get to them that, that farming is a good practice, it's sustainable, and we want to do it in the future, and we want to be ahead of some of the government regulations, we'd rather be doing it right from the beginning. And a lot of that too is you really want the general public to really learn more about what you know, farmers are doing, how they're using these products the right way, because uh, that's always a big thing in the public perception of agriculture, so it, it's a good program. So. What do you guys see really, you know, how no-till, you know, kind of fits with what you guys are doing, so? Well, as our, our philosophy of, of always learning and always looking for better practices, the, uh, this conference that's put on and the people that attend it are constantly trying to learn about better ways to, to be farming, farmers and, and do things in the field that are correct. And uh, we're just real inspired by the people coming here wanting to learn new practices and, and then teaching us things too. I mean, we can't know everything about uh, their tillage practices and being able to learn how they're doing it to apply our nutrients with them. We can take that back to our research farm and apply some of their practices that they're doing there to make sure that, that we're applying our nutrients correctly. And I gotta say, I've been on your research farm, and it's over 400 acres. Yeah, now. over 400 acres. Yeah, now. It's pretty impressive, so I know you did a lot of work in that area. What, just being at the conference here tonight, it looks like we're, we got a record crowd for Cincinnati this year. What, you know, is there anything particular that really impresses you about some of the guys here that you've talked to or visited with? Like I said, just the, the openness to learn and the, and the the ability for them to come to us and talk and us to go to them. And uh, just people seem to have a real great attitude for farming and uh, well, hey Albert, thank you very much. Hey, well, We're sure glad to have Al uh, you know, Culture on board with us. And it's been a great relationship and a great part of the conference. So, I've been talking with Albert Bancroft with Agricultural Fertilizers. Again, I'm Daryl Brookings with No-Till Farmer. And thanks for joining us from the uh, 2011 National No-Tillage Conference.